And good morning, everybody. It's me and Eric Knight on Friday. And as you guys saw the description, it literally doesn't say nothing. But if you guys stay tuned, we're going to talk about something and we're going to have fun doing it. I think that's how we like the role. But you got to wait for it because we like this 30 second introduction or intro. Intro. Welcome to the 863 Morning Show with your host, San Martin Rodriguez and Eric Knight. Good morning, everybody, and here we are. I think that we are kind of fuzzy, but we're not fuzzy because my beer's fuzzy. Anyways, no, looks good. Look at that. Yeah, I told Boom. you. Welcome to April. Yes, and we are going to support the Prescott Wellness Expo. It starts today. Where? Uh, right there at Sam Hills Warehouse. Okay. Triple Creek. Triple cool. Creek, guys. Triple Creek, uh, the Hilton, right behind it, the Sam Hills Warehouse, the mm-hmm. old, old Sam Hill Warehouse that has been completely renovated you guys have to check it out uh there's going to be over 60 vendors of of you know wellness uh you know things that are happening in prescott arizona or people that are actually doing things in prescott arizona so you guys definitely want to go out there and check that out it's a huge deal and you guys have time to go and do it it's uh five dollars a day or you can go ahead and give that vip packs passes and uh, we put all the information on our page so anyways tell everybody what day it is eric you know what day it is i don't know it is april fool's day it's friday and it's Friday. <laughs> what is your April Fools? The, my April Fools is trying to still make sure that the Prescott uh, Valley logo doesn't become oh that, that Prescott okay. Valley right. logo. You just dove right into the fire. I did. Right. I, I dove right in the in the. All front right. Of it, so but... so Mayor Kell posted his joke today. Yeah. Well, let's let's hear his it first. joke. His joke was actually cool, but we're it was go... like our joke that I wanted to do, and you told me no. Yeah. No. 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 We. We had we have opportunity to uh, joke about things, but this one right here was one of those moments where you're just like, "What in the world is going on?" Uh, I, but all right, let, let's see his joke. Let me see. Hold on. So, okay, let me, little background story is the AED was the whole save the Dells and the company that was built that's building out there, yeah. and so he came out with bam. Oh, then we're gonna show you right now. Bam, 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 bam. bam. <laughs> there it is. Dude, all right, there we go. Come on, bam. Come on, there we go. Right, yes. There, 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 all right. Okay, so let me take down uh the the uh morning show uh, uh hide that real quick. So, anyways, Kel is uh stating that there is going to be some changes on Glassford Hill. <laughs> it was like the AFD sister company of a- AED <laughs> purchased the whole mountain of Baldy. Uh which we used to call Baldy. Did you call it called Baldy? Mm-hmm. Okay. It was called Why won't any trees grow up there? Um, it, I don't know. I think it's because it was an old, uh, volcano. Okay. Yeah, so it's all so, volcanic ash. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a um, rock. Yeah, yeah. Just a complete rock. All right. So anyways, guys, uh, he says that, you know, they're going to take it over and do some, uh, mountain, uh, development. And it was so funny, but anyways, he came back and says, Hey, just kidding. AFD stands for April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. Day. And then everybody in the comment list uh-huh. were like, Oh, well, well, I mean, mine personally goes, dang it, Cal Palguda. I thought the logo was an April Fool's joke. And I, I mean, <laughs> oh, like, yes. All right, the, you thought it was too. I still so the lo- No, is. so the logo is here to stay. I told you it wasn't out on April Fool's. That's why, oh, man. unfortunately. This is, this is one of the So, so the logo industry. is real. It's not a joke. So there you go. Unfortunately. But uh, so somebody, some people like it. Yeah, uh, uh, three. Three people. Oh, what? <laughs> Three people uh, like it, Eric. <laughs> I, I, I like my joke. So my joke was we should have published an article saying that they were planning to tear down the courthouse and build a 20-story hotel there. Yeah. And you're like, no, people will shoot us. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is crazy. <laughs> so anyway, oh, oh, man, I dude. thought it would have been funny. But yeah, that, that that would have been funny. It would have been crazy. Until but... all the calls rolled into the city. Of the yeah. 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 And they would have shot us. Yeah. Somebody actually posted. A, uh, I want to find a picture that somebody posted uh, with the logo. Remember those uh, cups that you get at, uh, got at uh, like Circle K or whatever, and had that little squiggly. Yes. No, yeah. no, no. It was like a water cup, I think. And it was a squiggly blue line. And everybody's like, I know where that comes from. It was one of those cups. And then they put the. Um... Like a slushie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was an actual. Um, Oh, gosh, where is it? I don't know. Uh, I want to. I want to post it because it, it was so funny because it looks exactly like that. But mm-hmm. anyways, let me go ahead and try okay. to tell you guys a little bit of fun fact real quick. So, where did algebra get its name from? What a uh, El- algebra. Algebra. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it sounds like it's, I believe it's a Greek. 
Okay, so uh, the word algebra is a Latin variant Latin, of the yeah. Arabic Close. word al-Jabar. There you uh, go. It came from the title of a book, Haidab al-Jabar wal Kabbalah, <laughs> written in Baghdad about 825 AD by the Arab mathematician Muhammad Ibn Musa al Khwarizmi. Well, there you go. For my oldest daughter's taking an algebra <laughs> test today, hopefully that helps you pass. Yes, that ho hopefully that gives you. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that's on the test. Hopefully that gives you a reason to go ahead and be uh, curious about algebra. But right. You know, All right. right, let's do our quick mornings here. Good morning, yeah. TC Carpet Care. It was awesome to see you last night, yes. and we'll talk about that in a minute. Good morning, Haley. Yes, good Pauletta. morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, good morning. The Prescott Times, I always like saying hi to them. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Uh, so today, all right. no, no, last night. No, wait, wait, we're going to uh, go. All right, go. all right. Oh, we're going to go to the weather real quick. Don't you I'm dare so, bring I'm up. So, I'm so freaking tired. Don't you dare bring up that Paula number. It's, it's an awful number, but nope. whatever. You, you know, you guys need to acknowledge, like, sometimes when you have, like, some, like, things going on. Can, can we go back to traffic reports instead of Paula numbers? No, there's no traffic today. Uh, so 59, 59 degrees current. Well, I think this is going to be up there, but uh, it's nope, the high is going to be 66. Six, I saw 68 on another thing. Yeah, so, so we're almost back up to the 70s. Also, wow. the uh, pollen is up nope. and, and running its uh, full course nope. of nope. Don't do it. destruction. Don't do it. Destruction. No, I'm not looking. 66 nope. degrees all the way down, nope. everybody. So next week is going to be a really beautiful week. So if you guys want to be Ooh. a part of it. Okay, let's talk about last night. I'm ready. Speaking of, Gary Price, good morning. Good morning, Gary, Gary Price. Gary is there. Well, so... Man, I saw the pictures. A lot of people showed up last night. Yeah, it was an actual really cool event. I, I really do did appreciate uh, Magpie. So shout out to Magpie for mm -hmm. uh, hosting that event. It was uh, so big that we had to bring everybody outside to, uh, to yeah. kind of get the picture and to also conversate. Ideally, we'd like to go ahead and let everybody uh, talk about their businesses, but there were so Too many. many. Yeah. That would have taken so, it would have taken forever. Yeah, so we're gonna so. have to figure out a way to go ahead and, and present. You know, some of the businesses. Maybe we'll just do like a a, a ten uh, spotlights at each event, saying, "Hey, you know, you want to spotlight your business," and and we'll, we'll be able to go ahead and do that. But in in, in all in all like reality, that was a beautiful. beautiful it was a night. great event. It was actually uh, shout out to Kella and Limoncello for getting us in so late um, yes. after the event. Because there was pickup to do, and they're like, "No, no, we're close." And it's like, "Please!" Yeah, and they're like, was, "Sure, here you go." It was very, and we got very pizza. So yeah, it was very, very uh, short uh, night. So, uh, oh, it was a long night last night, but yeah. it was like it was actually really cool. It was. I, I I really did like it. We went live last night. If you guys didn't see that, Eric ran through the whole building. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually didn't even see what happened on that actual video feed. So right. we're looking at it right now. Uh, but we did have fun. I had fun. Did, I met so many so, new businesses well, as well. Another thing. So that wasn't the only live. Is SBDC went live on their page at the event oh yeah that's right. yeah and so cool. that was pretty cool too so anyways if you guys missed it don't worry we're going to be doing it again next month uh next month or april this month oh this month yeah <laughs> end of this yeah. month um and we're going to be doing it at the good old triple creek and we're going to be enjoying that back patio it's going to be beautiful uh they're going to have uh Live music, food, and drinks are going to be available. Are, so, are they going to open the splash pad for us? Uh, we, I mean, we could possibly. Uh, well, that's part of the, that's city. the city. I know. So we're going to have to ask the city if they. It may be a very to. different event if they open the splash pad. Yeah, yep. it, it could be a very yep. big. And so, event. yes, uh, Prescott Times, shout out to Magpie. They did such a great event. Yeah. And people love the store. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, I cannot tell you how many times I heard last night. And that's why these events are so important. People said, "I've driven by here a million times. I've never stopped." Yeah. And, and, so, and, and if nobody knows, now you know. And exactly. if you guys don't want to uh, miss out on anything else, be be sure to go ahead and switch, uh, you know, share it mm -hmm. uh, with the community and also your business members. Uh, because that's what it's all about is bringing businesses together and, and, and making links and, and corrections or connections. And um, yeah, that, that was awesome. I mean, I'm so exhausted from last night. And we got a full weekend this weekend of mm -hmm. events. And so uh, today I was going to be like, OK, I'm just going to relax. Uh, Clay came in this morning and brought us some donuts. He was yeah. like, dude, dude, they were there. Yeah. They're, they're new, uh, new couple, a new business in Prescott, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And they're actually taking on a, a pretty cool little business here in Prescott. So they are. we enjoy them, but they brought us some Bosa donuts this morning. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, we are towards the tail end of our show. Besides the health and wellness thing this weekend, what else is going on? That's it. Is there Foodie Friday? <laughs> That's it. No, we're no, just no doing Foodie Friday. Okay, we're, we're doing it. Uh, it's actually Maria's uh, mother's uh, memorial mm -hmm. uh, service this weekend. Of uh, actual full-on um, 
uh, I think it's a celebration. celebration uh, it's going to be yep. happening in downtown Prescott, Arizona, over at the park. So she's going to be doing that on Saturday. I want to go ahead and stop in at least uh, to say, uh, give my uh, my love to the whole family for you know her mama passing. But mm-hmm. anyways, that happens this weekend. So it's going to be a, a fun pack a weekend. Besides that, I mean, it's going to be a, a nice, beautiful weekend. So yeah. So pre- don't forget Prescott Wellness Expo behind us. Oh yeah. And you know, man, I tell you what, today's going to be a beautiful day. If you guys want to go ahead and know more about what's happening at in our area, please go to the Prescott times.com. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because there is so much news. Going oh, on wait, wait, times. before we wrap this up, look at this. We got a new from a new place from Madison, Nebraska, Cassie. Say what? Yeah. What's up, Cassie? Yeah. She, Cassie, she was here last, in Nebraska. She was here. Sorry, I missed you guys when it was home last month. So she was here and she's back to, to, <laughs> to her other place. Her other place. Yep. Oh, that's well, cool. Next time you're here, definitely come say hi. All right. I think that's our time for the most part. Well, good job, Cassie. What uh, other stuff? Are you sure? So besides focusing on Go to on the prescottimes.com. Okay. I, mean, I was I'm like, wah, wah, wah today. So if you guys want to go ahead and find out more information, just go to the prescottimes.com. You will be able to read all about it right here for free for free but the only reason why we're able to do that is because of our awesome partners with the partnership that we have around town this is how you guys receive all this information for free and get us on their morning show yeah if you guys want to be on our morning show or any shows or whatsoever email us at the editor at the prescottimes.com and with that being said i'm out of here i'm gonna go ahead and start enjoying my fry yay so with that being said i'm out peace love and happiness let it not be war and remember love always wins we'll see you later